Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to the renowned, the illustrious, the wonderful, the official Bishop's University Film Festival. My name is Duncan Alderdice and I will be acting as your master of ceremonies for the evening. I know we can all agree that Bishop's University is a truly remarkable place, an experience like none other, structured by a committed faculty, defined by a wonderful diverse student body and topped off with a beautiful campus. These three aspects synergize to create the communal atmosphere we all cherish so dearly. And that particular community is what makes events like this possible. The Bishop's University Film Festival, or BUFF for short, is a celebration of the creativity and skill of BU students. No matter the program, no matter the skill level, anybody can submit a piece of work. This lies at the core of what the BU Film Festival is all about. I cannot stress this enough. The essence of the festival is to encourage anybody with an idea to put that thought into action. It is an, an event organized by the students for the students and stands by that proudly. First and foremost, I would like to thank everyone who took part in helping make this happen. Without each and every one of you, this show does not go on. So thank you. And thank you to everyone for tuning in tonight. It is heartwarming to see so many people connecting together even if they are apart, over their love for their arts. I can assure you, you will not leave tonight feeling disappointed. You may find yourself touched emotionally. You may find yourself laughing uncontrollably. You may find yourself more confused than you thought possible, whoever you are. From the casual Netflix binger to the true cinephile, tonight you will be entertained. Every film that is screened tonight will have been directed by an active BU student. More than likely, all the actors seen on screen will also be active BU students. And if you're wondering where the rest of the production team is from, your best bet is to assume that they too are a student here at BU. Besides being directed by an active BU student, are there any other parameters the films must follow? Indeed, my rhetorical friend, there are. Possibly the most important criteria the films must follow is that their running length, title, story, credits, and all must not exceed six minutes. This means our participants have only 360 seconds to tell a story, convey a feeling, or inform us about a particular topic. To anyone watching tonight who has attempted such a feat, I am sure you can attest to the skill it takes to successfully do so. With that in mind, if tonight you view something which impresses you, which makes you smile, which moves you in a particular way, feel free to let the creators know. Do not hesitate to send a reaction into the online Microsoft Teams chat. Comment down below on this YouTube video premiere. Post words of encouragement on your social media. A picture or two would be fantastic. Make sure to use the hashtag, hashtag Buff2021. They put a lot of time and effort into their creations, thus they deserve the recognition. Give it to them. We are here to celebrate all those who made the attempt to make their ideas a reality, but there is a second reason. We will be acknowledging those films who stood above the rest. An elite panel of judges have been meticulously reviewing each and every submission submitted to this festival. They will be determining with their invaluable expertise which films are deserving of the six prestigious awards. Now listen, just because a film is the only one in it of its category does not mean it is guaranteed an award. It, it must, must be earned. The awards are as follows. Number one, best narrative. We all know what a story is, beginning, middle, end. Has anyone heard of Christopher Vogler's mythic structure? These will, generally, be the most familiar in terms of what you're used to when it comes to film. Perhaps there is a cleverly placed message underlying the story. If you play close enough attention, you might be able to see what lies between the frames. The film with the best narrative in the eyes of the judges will be awarded this accolade. Number two, best non-narrative. Experimental film is possibly a more familiar term. Perhaps you have heard of Un Chien Andalou or Meshes of the Afternoon. These films were designed to push the boundaries of what comprises a film. They won't follow the narrative structure you are used to. They might not even tell a story at all. The director is attempting to evoke a particular feeling from you, challenging the accepted conventions of filmmaking, compelling you to think in a certain way. Treat them more like a work of art. 
and it may become easier to digest. Almost like you're watching a painting, yet you see it as a movie, but it's not. Does that make sense? You're not dreaming, no. But it will feel like one to the winner of this award. Number three, best documentary. These films intend to inform and educate. They may tell you a story. They may make you feel something you had never felt before. They may make you think differently indeed. But what distinguishes these films is that they are nonfiction and not fiction. You might learn something today. And the winner of this award will learn that their documentary was best. Number four, best technique. In addition to celebrating the final product, the creative behind the scenes will be reviewed as well. There are many elements involved in the process of making a film, writing the script, choosing the location, setting up lighting, working the camera, dealing with actors, actually acting, reviewing the footage, noticing a slight continuity error, suppressing the rage that consumes you upon its discovery, dealing with the frustration when you realize you don't have enough time to reshoot, settling it on fixing it in post, it's, it's a process. The one who demonstrated superior technical abilities will be recognized here. Number five, best actor. As difficult as they are to deal with sometimes, what are our films without our actors? The individual who displayed the best on-screen performance, the one who outacted the rest, the one who had convinced us with their acting that their acting was not acting, will be deemed best actor. Where does that leave us? A six minute time limit and five awards? For Chunit Lee, there is something left. There will be no threeping after this, since you, yes you, the audience, will collectively vote to choose the one winner of your eyes. Who do you think deserves to be recognized? Voting for the final award, audience's choice, will occur near the end of the show. How does that sound? I know I'm excited and I'm sure you are too. We have a wonderful show tonight in store for you, so stay in your seats, focus on the film, and enjoy the entertainment. My name is Duncan Alderdice and welcome to the Bishops University Film Festival 2021.